good afternoon how are you uh, today i am going to create a new uh, video on hosting a website with s3 that this topic is very interesting uh, i hope a lot of you have an interest how we can host a website in s3 so let's let's begin first i'm going to go to s3 i just type s3 in the services and then s3 then I am going to create a new uh, bucket to host the website. S3 can host static websites which contains HTML files. So let's create a bucket. Sample uh, website hosting. Next. I keep it everything as default. Next. We need to make it public, so um, make this public here. Next, create bucket. Okay, so the bucket is created. Let me uh, do one more thing here in the properties. I just need to click on static website hosting and then use this bucket to host a static website index.html that's the my root file that is also index.html redirect those optional let's keep this as it is and save So I have given this uh, static website permission. Let's go to overview and upload my files. So I go to uh, the projects directory where I put my files. Okay. Okay, this is the HTML file. Then I have uh, some static files as well. These are assets file, which holds CSS, JavaScript, and images. So I created this static folder. I created save. And then I go to this directory. And then I upload. Files here. The assets. Oh, we have other folders. CSS forms, JS images. Okay, folder. Okay, so it might take some time to upload all those files. Just I pause the video for a minute. And okay, I have uploaded all those CSS fonts, images, JavaScripts into my bucket into the assets directory. Now I need to make these uh, files as a public because we want to view this as a public. So let's make it public. And then uh, make these assets also public. So we have made this public. Now let's see. We can view this. HTML. Okay, good. So we can view this uh, HTML with uh, S3 URL. As you can see, the URL is having uh, Amazon AWS domain. So. This is fine and we can view the site and this all works great but the domain is AWS. So how we can set our domain that means if we browse something like uh, s3.sitesandshops.com then I will see this page. So let me do this. Uh, for that purpose we need to use CloudFront. So uh, this is my S3 bucket so let me open CloudFront in a new tab.
then I will uh, create a cloud front which is uh, the source will be S3 bucket. So let me do this. Create distribution, get started. Uh, sample S3, this is the bucket. Okay, so origin path is fine. This is access mode. Then keep this as it is. Let's keep this as, as it is. Compress object automatically, yes. Object root, default root object. This is index.html. Logging of IPv6 enable, command distribution enable, IP distribution. Okay. So I am going to create a cloud front which is pointing to the S3 bucket. It might take around 5 to 10 minutes. So I am going to pause this video for now. Okay, my cloud front is now enabled. Now what we have to do is to um, edit and put our alternative domain names in MKN. So that can be like uh, s3.sites.shops.com. Okay. So, but uh, this alternative domain needs to have SSL, and we can use SSL by using a certificate manager. So, I need to create a certificate request for this domain for this subdomain. So let me. Copy this. I have to cancel and I need to go to certificate manager. So, go to certificate manager. And then uh, change the region to uh, Northern Virginia. This is important because otherwise it will not work you need to change your region that's fine then uh, what we need to do is to provision certificates get started request a certificate this is the domain s3.sitesshops.com next dns validation yes go to the next Okay, confirm your request. I'm going to request a certificate for my subdomain. Okay, uh, if I expand this, they will give me an instruction to do this. So, to create this certificate, I need to uh, create this CNM record. Copy CNM. Okay. This takes around 10 to 15 minutes. Let me pause again. Okay, I am back, and as you can see, my certificate has been issued. So the DNS change was successful. That's great. Let me now uh, go to Cloud Front and uh, refresh this page. Go to an edit mode again. Then I will see. A moment. Sometimes it takes some time. Go to refresh this. Go to the edit mode. So here we have the S certificate okay so we are using amazon certificate manager to create an ssl certificate create 
it and it will also take some time let me pause again okay now my uh, cloud font deployment is done i need to copy this uh, cloud font url and set a cname into my subdomain S3 and points to save exit. Okay, so my uh, CNAME record change has been up updated, and we can see we have added this record s 3 sitesandshops.com to this CNAME record that is our cloud form. Then, if I browse the uh, subdomain. then I will see the website. Great. So that was our purpose that we can view our website using our own domain which is hosted in S3 bucket. And the great thing is it's uh, I mean your monthly bill will be free because S3 has a free tier that supports you up to 5 gigabytes of storage and I think around, uh, uh, around 100,000 or a million records for your put and get records which is sufficient for a landing page or a startup page so i think you got my point and you have now seen how we can set a simple landing page or one page website in s3 and it will be free for your monthly cost okay uh, i hope you like this video if you like my videos then please subscribe to my channel and i request you to comment if there's any questions thank you for watching my video and have a nice day bye